Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the new color range options in Photoshop CS6. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and the goal for today's tutorial is basically to select out just the face of this model and maybe possibly change the color. So in order to do this selection what we're going to do is go up to select and then color range. Now color range is not a new feature in Photoshop CSX, it's been around in the other versions. Now the starting version of color range, um, basically you can just take and hold shift in order to select different colors. And you can see the more colors on her face that I select, um, the whiter her face gets, which is basically whatever's white is going to be your end selection. But you can see that it also selects that in other areas of the photo. So you can adjust this slider, um, but you can never get a very good selection. Um, it's good for some circumstances, but uh, in others uh, it gets a little rough. Now in the last version of Photoshop you saw localized color clusters added so if you check that on you can basically take and adjust this new range slider so if we check in her face here and then we expand that out you can see that we can kind of just refine our color range to that specific area. Um, again it's still getting a little bit out. Now with the new um, addition in Photoshop CS6 what we have is under this sampled colors menu you can take and go down to skin tones and you'll see that it selects all of the skin tones um, on the image and you can also click on detect faces now in most uh, things that I've seen online this is pretty much just magic um, and it basically works uh, really super well um, in this case you can see it does not work super well so um, in most of the images that I've seen people use this on uh, the person either has darker hair than our model here, um, they don't have their hands near their face, they're not wearing a tan sweater which is basically um, has a lot of skin tones in it, and it's not on a white background. So this is kind of a worst case scenario. So I wanted to show you guys how exactly you can handle this while still using these new features. So what we're going to do is actually cancel out of this and we're going to try and first refine down what we want color range to actually deal with. So what we're going to do is just kind of zoom in here. And I've got my lasso tool. You can come over here and grab that from your toolbar. And I'm just going to try and make a quick selection around her face while not trying to get any of her hands in there. Um, again, you can use any other kind of selection method you want. You can use like the pen tool or something if you want to get a really super um, fine selection. But for now, um, I think that the lasso tool will work for a quick selection. So now we have basically a selection around her face. Now what we're going to do is go back up to select down to color range. And you can see that our color range box is now um, basically zoomed in on just that area so we're not affecting anything else. So now what we can do is go up to our sampled colors, go down to skin tones, and then we can take and if we want turn on detect faces. Now in this case it seems like detect faces actually takes and adds in a little bit more than we want. Um, it seems like we get a better result without turning detect faces on, but keep in mind that this button is there and I've seen it work very well in certain circumstances. Um, this is not one of those. So I'm just going to keep it turned off. So then we can turn up the fuzziness a little bit. Um, I would recommend that you turn it up a little bit, maybe 10, 15, something like that, so that your end result isn't super sharp on the selection, um, but not too much because you don't want it to bleed into other areas. So then I'm going to click OK. And you can see that we have a fairly good selection. Um, you can see that there are a couple of little chunks here in the hair, um, but if you've seen any other selection methods um, using color range or anything else, um, this is definitely a great starting point to work with. So what I'm going to do to actually show you guys what we've selected is just take and add an adjustment layer. So at the bottom of the layers panel I'm just going to click this little button here, this little half and half circle, go up to hue and saturation and just changing the color is probably the easiest thing to show you. So I'm just going to turn her face say pink and we're good to go there. So now what you can do because this is an adjustment layer um, basically if you're just on your regular layer if you wanted to ever adjust the pink part what you can do is take and click on this little black square and now you're editing the adjustment layer so what you can do is grab your brush tool and then grab black or white white will add to your selection and black will take away from it so I'm just going to grab white I'm going to have an opacity of 100 and I have uh, my hardness pretty low on my brush and now if we wanted to add in things on this image, say her lips, you can just basically just paint those areas in. Now I would recommend taking and turning down your opacity and maybe something around like 13, 14. Grabbing a little bit bigger of a brush and then possibly just going around this hairline that we kind of had a little bit harder of an edge on, just trying to smooth that out. So you can see if we just take and kind of paint that in, we're adding kind of a lower opacity pink to it, um, to our layer mask over here and we can kind of fade that into her hair a little bit better because you can see um, people's skin tones a little bit through the little pieces of hair um, so you can get a much better result. 
So you can see with just a little bit of tweaking, um, we've basically taken this worst case scenario where she has her hands next to her face. There's a lot of skin tones in it. You have a white background, which is closer to the skin tones of this model. Um, so basically you can take and use a selection in order to refine your color range um, options. Now again, I was saying that you can take and take out things if you want. If you switch your uh, brush to black, and we'll put it back up to 100%, and you can basically take and just paint away things that uh, got out of your selection. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. I would definitely check out um, the skin tones uh, new option in color range as well as that detect faces and play around with those and see what situations they work in better and what situations they don't. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.